Now everyone lie on your back and relax in Savasan. Your feet apart, your arms apart, away from your body. Palm facing up, eyes are closed and completely relax your mind. Relax your whole body. Your whole body is completely relax. So try to allow your mind to relax your each and every body part from toes to head and head to toes. You just mentally repeat. I'm relaxing my mind. I'm relaxing my whole body. My whole body is completely relaxed. 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 Completely relaxed. Try to watch a full up in breath. Whenever you inhale, you just raise your abdomen out, feel more prana, more oxygen in your lungs. And whenever you exhale, your abdomen goes in and breathe and relax completely. Relaxed. You just mentally scan your body from toes to head and head to toes. I relax each and every body part. Relaxed. Relaxed. Completely relaxed. Make sure your breath is smooth and longer through the both nostril, not your mouth. Just watch your breath, relax completely for the few moments. Calm down your thoughts. Calm down your mind. Slowly bring the awareness into your body. Move your toes, move your fingers. And now slowly just bring your feet together. 
Stretch arms, overhead, interlace your finger and stretch your body, keeping it long, stretch it deep, stretch it towards the heart, stretch your whole body, stretch and exhale, release. Now bend your both knee and turn your body one side and take a support and slowly sit up, sit in a comfortable position, any cross leg position for the Dhyana Sloka. Just keep your both and chin mudra on your knees. Your eyes are gently closed, your mind is completely relaxed. So now, try to lift your spine up. So let's start the class with the Omkara, so three times Omkara all together. So take a long inhalation, inhale. Gajananam Bhutiganadi Sevitam Kapit Jambu Palisar Bhakshitam Umashutam Soke Vinashikaryanam Namami Bikini Sharipade Pankajam Sharananam Kumkumarakti Vainam Mahamatim Dibya Mayuri Vahanam Rudrasya sunam sarasenya natham Guham sadaham saranam pravadim Ya kunde tu sari hari dabalam Ya subravastra vitam Ya vina varidandi manditikaram Ya svedipadmasanam Ya brahma chita sankara pravadivi Devai Sada Pujitam Saman Pato Saraswati Bhagavati Nishesh Jadya Baham Om Namah Shivaya Guruvim Satchitananda Murutem Nisprapanchaya Santayam Sri Shivananda Yate Namaha Sri Vishnu Devananda Yate Namaha Om Sarva Mangala Mangalye Sive Sarivadi Sadike Sarani Trambake Gauri Narayani Namostute Narayani Namostute Om Shanti 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 Om Namah Shivai Good morning to everyone So now let's begin the class with first the breathing exercise Kapala Bhati You just choose your sitting position, sit in a cross leg position, any comfortable position Keep the back straight, keep your both and chin mudra on your knees Lengthen your spine up, roll back your shoulder, open your chest So first we will take here a couple of breaths Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. So now I'm getting ready for the first round of Kapala Bhati. Inhale deeply and begin. One, two, 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 one, two,
to Arm 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 to out, empty your lungs, relax your body, relax your mind. Now getting ready for the first retention of Kapalapati. So inhale, take a comfortable breath and hold your breath for that few seconds. You just keep meditating in a posture. And try to bring your focus between the eyebrow center and the third line or your Anjana Chakra. If you are more emotional, you can focus your mind on your heart center, on your Anha Chakra, wherever you are comfortable. Very good, now slowly with control. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. Second round of Kapalabhati. Inhale deeply and begin. Release a bit 
doubt. Now for the second retention of Kapalabhadi. So make sure your spine is straight and tall. So now you inhale. Again take a comfortable breath and hold your breath. Very gently. We just keep meditating in the posture. But remember, try not to feel any pressure on your lungs. Whenever you feel uncomfortable, you can release the breath out. Then again, take a normal breath. Try to hold your breath as much as you can to increase your lungs capacity and it's generated heat in your whole body so that heat activated kundalini or chakras many many benefits if you hold the breath now slowly with control exhale Make sure to take a posture, spine straight and tall. Now inhale deeply and begin. So inhale, take a comfortable breath and hold your breath this time a little bit more longer for the 60 seconds. If you're really comfortable, you need to listen to your body. Try to visualize a beautiful light between the eyebrow center and the lines. So just watch your light, watch your energy, and keep meditating in the posture. 
You can feel here more stillness in your body, more calmness in your mind, more smoothness in your breath. You just try to feel your each and every movement in your body, in your mind. Very good. Now slowly with control. Exhale. Keeping the eyes closed, and if you need to, you can stretch your leg out. You just take your leg to release the tension from the whole body. You just take your leg, you can rotate your ankles clockwise and anti clockwise. But make, make sure to not disturb yourself too much. So, again, you just recross your leg, sit in a comfortable position, a cross leg position. Sukhasan, Padmasan, and Ardha Padmasan. So now again, keep your right hand Vishnu Mudra, left hand in Chin Mudra on your knees, your back straight again, roll back your shoulder to open your chest. So now we'll continue the class with next Pranayama on Lom Belom, Nadi Shuddhi Pranayama. So first round, you just close your right nostril with your right thumb and inhale through left. Om one, om two, om three, om four, and hold. Close both nostrils very gently. Exhale to right. Om one, om two, om three, om four, om five, om six, om seven, om eight. Inhale to right. Om one. Om two, om three, om four, and hold. Keeping the back straight. Exhale through left. Om one, om two, om three, om four, om five, om six, om seven, om eight. Inhale through left. Om one, om two, om three, om four, and hold. For the 16 seconds, if you are really comfortable. If you are not comfortable with my count, then you can count it on number. Exhale to right, om one, om two, om three, om four, om five, om six. Om seven, om eight, inhale to right, om one, om two, om three, om four, and hold. Make sure your right elbow is relaxed and close your body. Exhale to left, om one, om two, om three, om four, om five, om six. Om seven, om eight, inhale to left, om one, om two, om three, om four, and hold. Exhale to right, om one, om two, om three, om four, om five, om six. Om seven, om eight, inhale to right, om two, om three, om four, and hold. Close the both nostril. Bring your focus between the eyebrows and genital lines. Keep meditating again. Exhale through left, om one, om two, om three, om four, om five, om six, om seven, om eight. Inhale through left, om one, om two, om three, om four, and hold. If you have your personal mantra, 
you can repeat your mantra mentally. If you don't have any mantra, you can repeat your repeat the universal mantra. Exhale to right, Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4, Om 5, Om 6, Om 7, Om 8. Inhale to right, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4, and hold. Exhale to left, Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4, Om 5, Om 6, Om 7, Om 8. Inhale to left, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4, and roll. Take a posture, your spine straight. Your shoulders are relaxed. Relax your whole body. Exhale to right, Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4, Om 5, Om 6, Om 7, Om 8. Inhale to right, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4, and hold. One more round. Exhale through left, Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4, Om 5, Om 6, Om 7, Om 8. Inhale through left, Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4 and hold. This is the last round of Anulom below. Nani Shuddhi Pranayama. Exhale to right, Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4, Om 5, Om 6, Om 7, Om 8. Inhale to right, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4, and hold. This is final retention of the Om Below. So now very gently through the left nostril. Exhale Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4, Om 5, Om 6, Om 7, Om 8. Release your right hand down. Stay here in the posture. Just keep your both hands chin mudra on your knees. You just keep breathing, keep relaxing again. And if you are really comfortable, Try to visualize the unlom belong without using your right hand. You just take a long inhalation through the left nostril and give it some pose. Then complete exhalation through the right nostril. Inhale through right nostril, give a pose again. And exhale through left nostril. You just keep breathing, keep relaxed. Try to feel the changes in your body, in your mind. You can feel more stillness in your body, more calmness in your mind. Just breathe and relax in the posture. Breathe and relax. Now very gently, without disturbing yourself too much, you just stretch your leg out and lay down your back and relax in Savasana. Your feet apart, your arms apart, away from your body. Palm facing up, eyes are closed and completely relaxed in Savasana. If you need to, you can shake your leg, you can rotate your ankles to release the tension. If you need to, you can turn your head side to side, left and right, to release all stiffness from the neck, from your cervical region, from your throat region.
Bring the feet together. Stretch arms over your head. Interlace your finger and stretch your body. Giving a long stretch deep. Stretch your toes around. Stretch your whole body. Stretch your spine. Stretch and exhale. Release. Now bend your both knee and turn your body right side. Take your support and slowly sit up. And stand up. Stand up with the mat with a Suri Namaskar. The sun salutation, the 12 step and 12 breaths. So, first time we'll do very gently. You just feel the Sinti body, but make sure if you're, you make sure try to synchronize your movement with the breath. So, let's begin. First time gently. So, now inhale. And exhale, palms together in the prayer position. You have both palms next to your heart center, so it's are relaxed. Now inhale, just raise your both arms up and arch back without bending your knees, hips slide forward. Now maintain a stretch and exhale, bend forward and slowly come down and place the palms on the mat. If you're not comfortable, you can bend your knees, no problem, but palms in between the mat, check your posture. Now inhale, stretch your right leg back, your right leg all the back and look up, try to open your chest, look up. Your right toes running out, just push up some more down, feel a deep stretch. Now tuck your right toes in, lift your right knee up, another leg back, body straight line, plank position, push up position. And exhale, drop your both knee down, drop your chest down, your chin, your forehead down, a strong namaskar. And inhale, your chin slide forward and arch back, roll your spine open and chest, cobra pose, bhujangasana. Now exhale, tuck your toes in and lift your hips up, mountain pose, parvatasana. Just press your heels down, press your palms down. Now very gently inhale, right leg forward between the hand, again look up, open your chest, left knee down, left toes went out. And exhale, the leg forward, palms to the mat, next to your feet. Now inhale, stretch arms forward and up and arch back. And exhale, release, very good, left side. Inhale, and exhale, palms together, prayer position. Inhale, stretch your both arms up and arch back, hips more forward. And exhale, bend forward and slowly come down, palms on the mat again. Check your posture, your finger, your toes in the same line. Now inhale, stretch your left leg back, your left leg all the back and look up, try to open the chest. You just push it more down to feel a deep stretch. Now retain the breath, other leg back, body straight line, plank, position, push up position, and shift your body weight forward towards the palms. And exhale, drop your both knee down, drop your chest down, and chin your forehead down, and stand on your hips remain up. Now inhale, chin slightly forward, and arch back, roll the spine, open your chest, elbows slightly bend and close your body. Now exhale, tuck the toes in and lift your hips up, bound in both parvatasana. Press your heels down, press your palms down. Now inhale, left leg forward between the hand. Again, look up, open the chest, right knee down, right toes going out. And exhale, other leg forward, palms on the mat, next your feet. Now inhale, stretch arms forward and up and arch back. And exhale, release. Very good. Now we'll go more with the mid, with the flow. Inhale and exhale, palms together. Inhale, both hands up and out back. Exhale, bend forward. Inhale, right leg back. Retain the breath of the leg back. Exhale, look the knee, chest for head down. Inhale, slide forward and out back. And exhale, tuck your toes and hips up. Inhale, right leg forward. And exhale, other leg forward. Inhale, both arms up and arch back. And exhale, release. Inhale and exhale, palms together. Inhale, both hands up and arch back. Exhale, bend forward. Inhale, left leg back. 
Retain the breath of the line by. Exhale, look the knee just for head down. Inhale, say forward and arch by. And exhale, tuck your toes and hips up. Inhale, left leg forward. And exhale, other leg forward. Inhale, both arms up and arch by. And exhale, release. Inhale and exhale, palms together. Inhale, both hands up and arch by. Exhale, bend forward. Inhale, right leg by. Retain the breath of the leg by. Exhale, look the knee, chest for head down. Inhale, slide forward and arch by. And exhale, tuck your toes and hips up. Inhale, right leg forward. And exhale, other leg forward. Inhale, both hands up and arch by. And exhale, release. Inhale and exhale, palms together. Inhale, both hands up and arch by. Exhale, bend forward. Inhale, left leg by. Retain the breath of the leg by. Exhale, up the knee, chest for head down. Inhale, slide forward and arch by. And exhale, mountain. Inhale, up leg forward. And exhale, the leg forward. Inhale, stretch your both arms up and arch by. And exhale, release. Inhale and exhale, palms together. Inhale, both hands up and arch by. Exhale, bend forward. Inhale, right leg by. Retain the breath of the leg by. Exhale, up the knee, chest for head down. Inhale, slide forward and arch by. And exhale, mountain. Inhale, right leg forward. And exhale, other leg forward. Inhale, both arms up and arch by. And exhale, release. Inhale and exhale, palms together. Inhale, both hands up and arch by. Exhale, bend forward. Inhale, left leg by. Retain the breath of the leg by. Exhale, look the knee, chest for head down. Inhale, slide forward and arch by. And exhale, tuck the toes and hips up. Inhale, left leg forward. And exhale, other leg forward. Inhale, both hands up and arch by. And exhale, release. Very good. We'll count the number. Inhale and exhale, I'm one. Inhale, I'm two. Exhale, I'm three. Inhale, right. Retain five. And exhale, six. Inhale, seven. And exhale, eight. Inhale, right. And exhale, left. Inhale, eleven. And exhale, twelve. Inhale and exhale, I'm one. Inhale, I'm two. Exhale, I'm three. Inhale, left. Retain your right. And exhale, six. Inhale, seven. And exhale, eight. Inhale, left. And exhale, right. Inhale, eleven. And exhale, twelve. Very good. Last round. Do your best. Inhale and exhale, I'm one. Inhale, I'm two. Exhale, I'm three. Inhale, right. Retain five. And exhale, six. Inhale, seven. And exhale, eight. Inhale, right. And exhale, left. Inhale, eleven. And exhale, twelve. Inhale and exhale, I'm one. Inhale, I'm two. Exhale, I'm three. Inhale, left. Retain your right. And exhale, six. Inhale, seven. And exhale, eight. In 
inhale left and exhale right inhale eleven and exhale twelve very good now separate your feet separate your arms your eyes are closed And completely just relax your breath, relax your heartbeat, relaxed. Now once you feel ready, you just slowly sit down and lay down your back and relax in Savasana again. your feet apart, your arms apart. Again, if you need to, you can shake your leg, you can turn your head side to side to release the tension from the whole body. So now, getting ready for the single and double leg exercise. So bring your feet together, your legs together. Stretch the both arms up over your head, interlace your finger and stretch your whole body, keeping long, stretch deep, stretch your toes now. Stretch your whole body and exhale, release. So now feet together, arms side your body, palm facing down towards the mat for the single leg exercise. So toes slide in towards you. So now let's begin. So inhale, stretch the right leg up, your right leg all the way up. As much you can, doesn't matter, but knee are straight. Toes in, heels active. And exhale down. Inhale, stretch your left leg up. And exhale down. Inhale, right leg up. And exhale down, inhale left leg up, and exhale down, inhale right leg up, and exhale down, inhale left leg up, and exhale down, inhale right leg up, breathe your Stay in the pose, breathe your palms to the mat. You just use your breath and inhale and exhale slowly. Just lift your head up, lift your chest up. Breathe, just use your core muscles. Very good. Wonderful. Stay in the pose. If you're really comfortable, so now can you lift your both palms away from the mat? Stay here. Five, four, three, two, one. And exhale slowly, head down, chest down. Palms down, drop your legs down. And exhale, release. Same thing, left side. Now inhale, stretch your left leg up, left leg all the way up. Breathe here. Try to pull your leg more closer towards you. Breathe, very good. Again, use your prana. Inhale and exhale slowly. Lift your head up, lift your chest up, look your toes. Breathe, very good. Okay, now can you lift your both palms away from the mat? Five, four, Three, two, more up and exhale slowly. Come down, release and relax. Legs down. Relax, you can shake your leg. And getting ready for the double leg exercise. So this time you have option, your hand option. You can choose your hand, hand option according to you. Underneath your body, beside your body, behind your head, parallel to the shoulder, wherever you're comfortable. But feet together, toes in towards you. Slide tuck, tuck your chin toward the chest. So let's begin. Now inhale, lift your both legs up 90 degrees up. So check your posture, heels are active, your lower back should be on the mat. And exhale down a few inches away from the mat. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale down, 
Very gently, can you open your leg? Your legs wide open. Relax here first. Legs together. Now bend your both knees, hug your knees toward the chest. Keep pressing your thighs toward the chest. For the power of Muktasana. So now when you inhale and exhale slowly, lift your head up, lift your chest up. If you're really comfortable, you chin your forehead toward the knees. Breathe here, squeeze your whole body to release the tension. Squeeze and exhale, slowly head down, chest down, release your hand, both legs straight up and exhale slowly, come down, take your time, now release and relax in Savasana, so now you can feel the difference in your body and your mind, your body is completely warm up, completely ready for the whole asana class. You just mentally prepare your mind, suggest your whole body for the first asana, that is Seeds Asana, the king of asana headstand. You just mentally prepare yourself. So now I'm getting ready. So slowly you just bring your feet together. Stretch your both arms up over the head, interlace the finger and stretch your whole body. Stretch, stretch, stretch and exhale. Release, bend your both knee and turn your body one side. Take a support and slowly sit up and sit on your heels and relax in child pose. Relax in Balasan. Your hips resting on the heels, your forehead towards the mat, your palms next to your feet, palm facing upward towards the ceiling. And here try to drop your elbows down to relax your upper body, relax your shoulder completely. So to here try to visualize a beautiful headstand, a perfect headstand by following the eighth step. So now when you will feel ready, then slowly come on, you just lift your head up, lift your chest up. So now let's begin the headstand, you just tuck your tissue inward. So now start, you just first measure your elbow, hold up your elbow. Now place the elbows on the mat, your elbows underneath your shoulder. Now open your hand and make a tripod, just interlace your finger. Now place your crown of the head between the palms. Tuck the toes in, lift your knees up like a mountain, stay here, keep the knees straight and walk at full feet forward as much as you can, then take your time, just bend your one leg and slowly come up the posture, full step, very good, you are doing very well, just take your time, no need to hurry, and whenever you feel ready, just lift the both legs up in a headstand. And just take your time, you are doing very well. So now, those who are in headstand, so try not to arch your back. What you can do is tuck your abdomen muscles in and keep your body straight. In the same line, your heels, hips, head, your neck in the same line. And hold the posture. And those who are not comfortable for the headstand, you can try dolphin to increase arm strength, your solar strength. So now if you are really comfortable, if you are in a headstand, 
you can close the eyes and think about the posture, think about the benefit. You can feel here your whole blood is coming down towards the head, towards the neck to, be, to give a good massage to your whole internal organs. Breathe, you are doing very well, stay. Few more breath. So try to still your body, still your mind. You don't need to move your body. Istiram. Sukham asnam is steady, comfortable pose. Wherever you are, no problem. Now you can feel the difference in your body, in your mind. You can feel more calmness, more stillness. Last 60 more seconds if you can. So far you are doing very well. 30 more seconds. This is the best asana to increase your concentrate power, your memory power your mental strength last 10 more seconds very good so now again for this step and slowly come out the posture take your time very gently you just take your time and slowly come down and very good again relax in in child pose in balasan relax here if you need to, you can interlace the finger behind the back. Raise both arms up. Now release. You can turn your head side to side, left and right. To release all tension. If you have any tension, any body part, you just release that particular part. Again, whenever you feel ready, come up. Lift your head up, lift your chest up, and lay down your back. And relax in Savasana. For the next asana, shoulder stands the wrong asana, the queen of all asana, mother of all asana. So getting ready. So now slowly just bring your feet together, your legs together. Stretch the both arms up over the head, interlace the finger and stretch your whole body. Stretch, giving a long stretch and exhale. Release. So make sure you have enough space behind your head for the full halasan. So feet together, palms on the mat, toes in towards you. Slide tuck, tuck your chin toward the chest. So let's begin. Now inhale, lift your both legs up, your hips up, your trunks up, then keep supporting your back. And hold the posture wherever you are right now without any adjustment. Just stay and understand what is happening in your body, in your mind. So now if you really need some adjustment, you can bend your knees towards the forehead. Either you can drop your legs down as a halasan. And then try to bring your elbows more if you are really comfortable. Release the support, interlace your finger behind your back. And bring your elbows more and again re-support your back. And lift your both legs straight up. Wonderful. Very good. So make sure your feet relax again. Your calf, your thighs, your hips are relaxed. Relax your abdomen, relax your chest, your jaw, your teeth, your tongue is completely relaxed. Now just close the eyes. And watch your breath. Watch your posture. So make sure you don't move your head side to side. You just tuck your chin towards your chest to activate your thyroid and parathyroid lines. Just relax, close the eyes.
This is one of the most beautiful meditative posture. You just keep meditating in the posture and feel the difference in the breath. You can feel your breath more smooth, more longer and more rhythmic. Your prana is flowing up and down from your toes to head and head to toes. Very good. Last few more seconds. You are doing very well. Again, remember, you don't need to move your body, just still your body, still your mind wherever you are comfortable. According to your flexibility, according to your strength. Okay, so now getting ready for the Ardha Halasana, so keep supporting back. And as you inhale and exhale, drop your right leg behind your head, keep your knees straight, your both knees straight again. Wherever you are, no need to touch your to toes on the mat. Now inhale, just raise your right leg up, shoulder stand. And exhale, left leg down. If you are comfortable, then you can touch your toes on the mat. If you are not comfortable, no problem. Inhale, left leg up to the shoulder stand. And exhale, right leg down. Both knees straight. Inhale, right leg up to the shoulder stand. And exhale, left leg down. Inhale, left leg up to the shoulder stand. Stay in the posture. Very good. Stay. So take a fresh prana, fresh energy for the full halasan. So inhale. And exhale. Drop both legs behind your head. So take your time. Now, can you touch your toes on the mat if you're really comfortable? So if your toes on the mat, your toes in towards you, keep your knee straight. You just pull your knees away from the forehead. If you're really comfortable, then release your support. Lay the palms on the mat, interlace your finger, wherever you're comfortable. Very good. So this time, you can feel your hips pointing up towards the ceiling. Feel a long stretch, deep stretch again. So make sure your toes in towards you, your back straight, legs straight, and your hips pointing up. And in the halas, breathe, stay in the posture, very good. Again, you can feel some vibration happening in your legs, in your back. Breathe. Very good. So now again, come on the posture. Just take your support. Lift the both leg up to the shoulder stand if you are comfortable. Very good. Wonderful. So now, come on the posture. Just drop your both leg behind your head 45 degrees away from the mat. Release the support and slowly come down. Reuse your hand as a breaker. Slowly come down. Use your eat your tibra. Slowly release and relax. In the posture, very good. You can shake your leg if you need to. You can turn your head side to side. Now bring your head back. Your body is back, your mind is back. For the counter pose, fist pose, matasyasan. So again, bring your legs together. So roll your body side to side and place both arms underneath your body. So try to bring your elbows more in. Your elbows more in. As much you can. So feet together, relax your toes first, relax your whole body. So we will take first long breath. Inhale. And exhale. Getting ready. So now toes in, slight toes in towards you. So now getting ready, inhale and exhale, lift your head up, lift your chest up, press your elbows down, open your chest, look at your toes, breathe, look at your toes and exhale very gently, drop your head back and completely down and hold the posture for the 60 seconds. So you are doing very well, just check your posture, is your 90% 90 90 body weight on your elbows and 10% on your head. Just Keep opening your heart center to increase your lungs capacity. Just breathe here. You can use here your full yogic breath. You just keep expanding your chest, your 
Great, very good. This is the best asana to release all tension, all stress, disease, depression in your whole body, from the whole body. This portion will make your mind more peace, more strong. Okay, very good. Come out the posture again. Inhale and exhale. Slow lift your head up, lift your chest up again. Look at toes. And exhale slowly. Come down. Release your hand. You can shake your hand. You can rotate your wrist. To release the whole tension, if you need to again, you can turn your head side to side. Left and right. Bring the mind back, your body's back. Again, relax in Savasana. Stretch your body, giving a long stretch, deep stretch your toes in our stretch your whole body. Stretch and exhale. Release now slowly sit up. <coughs> so now sit in and dandasan. Both legs straight, front of your toes in towards you. And place the palms next to hips to lift the spine up. And getting ready for the classical pose, Paschimuttasana, forward sitting band. So make sure your back straight. Lengthen your spine up. So now inhale, just raise your both arms up, your arms close to your ear. And stretch your body up. If you need to, you can interlace your finger to stretch your body up. So stretch the body up, left and right toward the ceiling, stretch up. So release the fingers, maintain the stretch and exhale slowly. Come down, take your time. Slowly come out the posture, come down in the posture. You can hold your big toes, your feet, your ankles. Either you can drop your both palms on the mat, wherever you are comfortable. But make sure your back is straight. Just look forward, try to open your chest. Don't Hunch your back. If you're not comfortable, you can hold your knees, but back straight is open your chest to remove the hunch from your upper back. Breathe, stay in the posture. This is a very good posture to give a good massage to your all internal organs. Release the all tension. Breathe. You just surrender your body, surrender yourself, your old ego, old tension towards the Mother Earth. You can feel here more calmness, more stillness, more smoothness in your breath. Just take a fresh prana, fresh energy from the Mother Earth. Breathe very good here. Surrender yourself towards the Mother Earth. This is the best asana for the diabetes. Those who are, who have diabetes, really good for them. We just keep holding the posture to get a more benefit. You need to hold the posture to get a more benefit. It's the best asana to release your all acidity problem, all extra feet from your belly, from your thighs. 
Wonderful. So now come out of the posture. Inhale, stretch arms forward and slowly up. Now drop your both hands behind the back for the counter pose. Poor Uttanasana. So here your toes slide like pointing out and drop your head back very gently. So now inhale and exhale slowly. Just lift your hips up. Your chest and hips, hips higher up. Keep pressing your toes towards the mat. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, hips more up, 2, 1, and slowly come down, very good. Now lay down your abdomen and relax in Makarasana. Relax here in Makarasana. <coughs> So here you just check your body, your big toes together, your heels falling out. Make your palms as a pillow to relax your cheeks on the palms on the mat. Just relax and breathe in the posture is the best asana for the relaxation. You can use here your full abdomen breath. Breathe. And prepare yourself for the whole backward band, bands. So now, getting ready for the first backward band, Cobra pose, Bhujangasana. So getting ready, bring your feet together, your legs together, your toes running out, your forehead towards the mat. And place the palms underneath your solar, your elbows running up towards the ceiling. So let's begin. So now inhale, all your chin slide forward and slowly lift your head up. Lift your chest up, very good. Open your chest as much as you can. And stay in the posture. Breathe, very good. For the 35 seconds, if you're really comfortable. Try to use your each vertebra to lift yourself more up. You elbow slightly bend and close the body, heels together if you're really comfortable and keep lifting yourself more and more up. But your hips, your palate should be on the mat. Keep relaxing, hold facial muscles. Happy cobra pose, smiling, breathe. Breathe very good, last 10 more seconds, you are doing very well. You can lift yourself more up if you need to. Yes, feel a good arch on your lower back. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Now slowly come out of the posture. Take your time. And exhale, release and relax. Very good. Change your cheeks. Again, relax in Makarasan, crocodile pose. This time, change your cheeks. Okay, so now I'm getting ready for the second backward bend, half locust and Poon Salabhasan. Again, bring your feet together, toes running out towards the wall. So this time your chin resting in the mat and place the both palms, your both hands underneath the body. Again, try to bring your elbows more, your elbows more closer towards each other. So let's begin half locus, single leg. So chin more forward. So now inhale, stretch your right leg up, your right leg all the way very good. Again, your knees straight without twisting your hips and exhale down. Inhale, stretch your left leg up, your toes spine out. And exhale down. Inhale, right leg up. And exhale down. Inhale, left leg up. And exhale down. So now getting ready for the Poon Salavasana. You can drop your head one side if you need to. 
You can do some adjustment if you need to. Try to bring your elbows more in. So let's begin. So take a first fresh prana, fresh energy. You need lots of strength here. Inhale and exhale. Now getting ready. Inhale, lift your boot, legs up. Very good. Your knees up, your thighs up, your hips up and stay in the posture. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Mora, four, three, two, one. Slowly down. Very good. Now release your both hands. Again, you can relax in Makarasan. Your cheeks resting on the mat. Take a fresh prana, fresh energy from the Mother Earth. Now, get you ready for the last pepper bend, Dhanurras in the bow pose. So let's begin. You just bend your knees, both knees. Your forehead towards the mat and hold your ankles. If you're not comfortable to hold your ankles, you can slice up your knees. Then you can hold your ankles very easily. So getting ready. So now in here and exhale slowly, just lift your head up. Lift your chest up, lift your knees up, your thighs up, your thighs more up. Very good. For the 30 seconds, stay in the posture. You just keep relaxing your whole facial muscles, keep smiling. Very good, you are doing very well. Just lift yourself more up to give a good massage to your whole internal organs. It will make your back more strong, your entire back. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, more up and exhale slowly. Come down, release, relax again in Makarasana for that few seconds. Just relax. Collect the more energy, more prana from the Mother Earth for the next asana. Okay, so now your forehead towards the mat, place the both palms under your shoulder, stretch your body back and again relax in child pose, relax in balasan, completely just relax the step, counter posture over the whole back of bend, keep the spine straight. Now slowly just lift your head up, lift your chest up. For the half spine and twist, Ardhima Chindrasana, so sit on right side. So now here just place your left foot over the right knee. So make sure your left thigh close to your body, just hold your left knee with your both hand, keep the back straight, your check your posture, back is completely straight. So now very gently just place your left hand behind your back. Your left elbow is close to your body, open your chest. Inhale, stretch the right arm up, stretch your whole body from the right side. And exhale, twist your body to the left side. And hold the posture now. If you are really comfortable, you can hold your left toes, left ankles. Either you can interlace your finger behind your back. You can more flexible, more advanced. So check your posture, both hips should be on the mat, your back is complete straight and your both shoulder in the same line and feel a strong twist from your base to the spine, breathe, you just close your eyes and enjoy your posture. You just watch your breath and twist your body more and more. 
Breathe very good. Okay, so now release the posture. Inhale, raise the right arm up. And exhale slowly. Come down, release and relax. Chain the leg. Sit on left side now. This time place the right foot over the left knee. So again, hug your knees. Keep the back to your thighs high. Close the body. So this time, your right hand behind the back. You open a chest, your right elbows keep supporting you. Inhale, switch your left arm up, switch your whole body from the left side. And exhale, twist your body to the right and use your elbow to pull your leg closer towards you. Again, hold your big toes, your ankles, either you can interlace your finger behind your back. But again, don't squeeze your body, Just open your heart center. Wonderful, very good. Just keep relaxing your neck. And breathe, keep relaxing the whole facial muscles. No need to tense your body. You just feel a strong twist. Breathe, very good. You are doing very well. Every time you need to hold the posture to get a more benefit. With the awareness, you don't need to hold your breath. Just keep breathing, keep relaxed. Breath smooth and long, and then you can twist your body more and more. Okay, now come out the posture. Inhale, lift your left arm up. And exhale, release and. Relax, very good. Bend your knees, hug your knees tight toward the chest. Keep the back straight again. Now inhale, slowly look up, drop the head back, look toward the ceiling, take your time. And exhale, down toward the chest, your chin toward the chest. Now inhale, slowly look up, look toward the ceiling. And exhale down toward the chest. And this time your forehead relaxing on the knees. Relax here. Now bring your head back. Turn your head right side. Turn your head left side. Again, bring your head back. If you need to, you can rotate your head clockwise and anti-clockwise. Release all stiffness, all tension from the neck. From the shoulder. Now once you're done, then exhale, release and relax. So now getting ready for the balance team portion, Kakasan, the pro pose. So sit in squatting position. Place the palms on the mat, so make sure your fingers wide open, then you can press your palms strongly on the mat. A slight curl your finger inward. So now lock your knees on your elbows, on your upper arm, then slowly shift your body weight forward toward the palms and lift yourself more up. Lift your one leg at a time. Very good. You just focus your mind on the one point. Very good. You are doing very well. Breathe very good. Stay in the posture. Exhale, release and relax. Very good. Now stand up. For the path of Stasis 24 bands, again stand front of the mat. Stand tall here. So now you here, just raise your both arms up, your arms close to your ear. Stretch your body again up to the ceiling. So maintain the stretch and exhale slowly. Come down, take your time. Make sure your spine is straight, your knees straight. And place the palms on the mat. You can hold your big toes, you can hold your feet, you can hold your ankles. Wherever you are comfortable, according to your flexibility. You can interlace the finger behind your leg, behind your calf muscles. You can hold opposite elbow, ankles from the back side. And stay in the posture. If you are really comfortable, you just slightly sip your body forward towards the toes to feel a deep stretch. Long stretch. 
Great job, yeah, very good, you are doing very well. Your forehead resting on the knees, your abdomen. Keep pressing your thighs. This is the best asana to release your hunch from your back. It will open your hamstring muscle, your leg muscles. Very good. Okay, so now come on the posture, you just hang your hand. Hang your whole body and slowly come up. With each vertebra and slowly come up. Your head will come last. And release and relax. So if you need comfortable, slice up your feet one feet apart. So put a lower back. So now your hips forward and gently arch back. Hips forward. And exhale, release and relax. Very good. So now, last asana, trikon asana, triangles. So open your legs. Maybe two, three feet apart according to your height. So now, your right toes pointing out, left toes in. So make sure your hips in a same line without twisting your hips. So inhale, you just lift your left arm up. Your left arm's closed here. Stretch your body from the left side. So feel a long stretch and exhale slowly. Come down to the right side. Very good. Just take your time. Go more down if you can, but without twisting your hips. You don't need to go completely down. It's, you need to feel a long stretch from your heels to finger, fingers to heels. Try to open your heart center. Breathe, you are doing very well. Just stretch your arms, stretch your elbows towards the wall. Very good. So maintain the stretch. Now you inhale, lift your left arm up and exhale. Really change the side. Right toes in, left toes out. Again, remember your both heels in the same line. You just check your posture. Hips straight. So inhale, stretch your right arm up, your right arm all the way up. Close to ear. And exhale slowly come down to the left side and stay in the posture breathe so here your left hand completely relaxed no body weight on your left arms you just feel a long stretch deep stretch from the right side to give a good massage to your pancreas to your kidney. Very good. Maintain the stretch. Now you inhale slowly up and exhale. Really not jump. Legs together. Stand in front of the mat. Stand tall here. Just raise your both arms in front of you. Now you inhale. Can you lift your heels up? Stand your toes. Just find a balance. Stay here. Very good. Just find your balance. Focus your mind on the one point. As you exhale, bend your knees and slowly come down. Just first sit on your heels. Stay. Drop your heels down. Drop your hips down and lay down your back and relax in Savasana. So completely relax in Savasana. So now we'll do some tensing and releasing. So let's begin. So now in here, you just lift your both legs a few inches away from the mat. Tense your leg, tense, 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 and drop. In here, lift your hips up, squeeze your buttocks up, 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 and drop. Press your elbows down. In here, lift your chest up, open your chest up, 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 and drop. Lift your both arms up, make your fist tight, 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 tight. Open your fingers and drop. Squeeze your shoulder towards ear, squeeze and release. Squeeze your old facial muscle, make your face, early face, lemony face, squeeze and release. Open your eyes, open your mouth, your tongue out, release. Very gently, just turn your head side to side. Left and right, try to touch your ear on the mat, both sides. Now bring your body back, your mind is back and completely relaxed in Savasana. 
So you're here, try not to move your body for the couple of minutes, more than five minutes, five to seven minutes. This is still a body, still a mind. So mentally you can scan your body from toes to head and head to toes. I'm giving auto suggestion. You can mentally repeat after me. I'm relaxing my toes and my heels and my feet are relaxed. I'm relaxing my ankles, my calf, my knees, my knee joints, my knee joints are relaxed. I'm relaxing my thighs, my hips, my hip joints, my hip joints are relaxed. I'm relaxing my abdomen and my chest. And I'm relaxing my whole face, abdomen muscles. My whole abdomen muscles are relaxed. I'm relaxing my lower back, my middle back, my upper back. My back is relaxed. I'm relaxing my fingers, my palms, my wrists, my elbows. My elbows are relaxed. I'm relaxing my upper arms, my soles, my soles split. My soles split are relaxed. I'm relaxing my neck, my throat. I'm relaxing my whole facial muscles. My whole facial muscles are relaxed. I'm relaxing my skull, my brain. I'm relaxing my whole body. My whole body is relaxed. I'm relaxing my whole internal organs. My whole Internal organs are relaxed. Relaxed. I can feel my relaxation. I'm relaxing deeper and deeper. Relaxing completely. Relaxed. Relaxed. Relax. Relax.
Slowly, wake up your body, move your toes, move your fingers, now slowly just bring your legs together, your feet together, stretch the both arms up over your head, into your finger and stretch your whole body, stretch, giving a gentle stretch and exhale, release, now bend your both knees, turn your body right side. Take a support and slowly come up, sit up. Sit in a cross leg position. Choose your sitting position, keep your both and chin mudra on your knees. For the final prayer, Mahamurtinja Mantra. Keep the back straight, eyes gently closed. Take a long inhalation, inhale. Thank you so much. Dhanyabad. Om Namah Shiva. Have a good day. Thank you.